How you not there, my people? Welcome back. This is your boy, Gia Adam Slink. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. And of course, Free West Deep is here, uh, aka Afro Beats Blog. Afro Beats. And uh, also, I have my celebrity, Local Man, man. Uh, aka yeah. LCM. Yeah. So, CLM. guys, now, uh, and uh, your CLM. <laughs> uh -huh. LCM. C celebrity Local Man, CLM. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, CLM. And uh, your honorable uh, Afro uh, Adam Slink. Afro uh, Beats Blog. <laughs> Adam Slink is here with you guys. And uh, welcome Afro to be another. Work on, uh, Afro Beats Blog on your studio. So. <laughs> well, uh, welcome to another crazy video. So, of course, we, you saw the title of this video about how Nigeria assisted uh, South Africa. You know, sometimes uh, people will say, Why would they remind me for the help you don't help me? You understand? If, people do say that. If you don't, they misbehave. Why would they remind me? You help me because you're going to tell me every day, so you help me. I mean, I but you sometimes, you need when to they help person, person forgets see, you see, see how you tell her sister. Remind them so that at least if you remind them, it might have a change of mind. mind. But if that person don't get change of mind, you don't say that person is just being wicked. Okay. You understand? But that being said, we remembered they say internet do not forget. And then we do not have internet, right? No internet. Internet was not that popular no. in this place. But we have what we call newspaper. Newspaper, do not forget the time Nigeria donated the sum of 61 billion US dollars to South Africa over a space of time. And also, it never forgot when Nigeria students were donating their feeding money to help South to Africa. Help South Africa out of uh, apartheid. apartheid. But now, South Africa do not want anything to do with Nigerians. They call Nigerians criminals. They call uh, Chidima an outcast, a criminal, and drug addict. Drug addict, <laughs> yeah. yes. yes. <coughs> drug addict, and the rest. No, Nigerians are not drug addicts. That is a uh... They, they don't really understand that portion. You they complain, say your people, they buy drugs from mm -hmm. person. So your peoples are junkies, you know. They are, all of them are drugs. If they see drugs anywhere. Yeah, so they want certain Nigerian guy, they want place. I don't forget, I read the story. He said they want place. They, South Africa come meet them. Say, make he sell drugs, give them. Ah, they want just, I don't know the sell drugs. Ah, that yeah. is to show you now that these people are junkies. You you can't instead of them to reorientate, carry them go they have. Therefore, they blame Nigeria. Nigeria. You cannot sell food to someone who is not hungry. Oh, yes. 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 You, can. you sell food to people <laughs> so who are hungry. hungry. So you are hungry. <laughs> you are hungry. <laughs> so most definitely, there's a market for it. <laughs> yeah. You understand? But let us uh, stay deep down a little bit. You know, the whole issue, the basis of this matter is because of uh, Chidima. Yeah, and, Chidima. Uh, Big up to Bonner Boy for immediately supporting standing, up. standing Even Tyler. Up. Big up to um, Big up to Tyler. Up. And big up to some other South Africans as well. Yeah, for standing up. Julius Malema. Standing uh, up. Julius Malema, uh, Malema has been standing up for a very long time. But they hate him for that. Yes. They hate him for saying your fellow black color skin is not your, your enemy. enemy. But just, I will play you a video from a girl who is also a social media person over there who spoke about this Chidema so that I will hear how deep the aid is about Nigeria. Let's take this Chidema situation and try to break it down in our brains as much as we can. The problem with Chidema is that she didn't represent South Africans in any way. From her name, to the way that she looks, down to the culture that she has publicly celebrated. I personally didn't care what Home Affairs said about her citizenship. All I cared about was the fact that nothing about her represented South Africans. When you tell us that we would rather celebrate a Marigi Filyun over our black sister, then we have the right to tell you that what you're talking about is a racial issue and it has nothing to do with being Miss South Africa. Playing the brother and sister card in the situation doesn't work because a Marigi Filyun is more of my sister when we talk about being a South African as opposed to a black girl that comes from Nigeria or Ghana. In South African context, Mariki is my sister because I recognize her name, I recognize her language, and I recognize her culture. A Miguela McKenzie is more of my sister when we talk about being a South African as opposed to a Chidima. If your problem is race and colonization, then there's other platforms where you can discuss those things, not this one.
if the situation is racial, then yes, I can say Chidima is more of my sister than a Mariki, but this is not the case. So stop trying to guilt trip us and using big words to make us feel guilty or make us feel bad for not wanting to accept a person that doesn't represent us in any way. Stop trying to divanisa things that don't dip. How does a girl from a French background represent her than in Nigeria with the uh, culture? She says she understands her culture. Oh. Yeah, say a French background, say recognize that white girl because okay. they have a particular name for them. Than to than in Nigeria. Yeah. Say Chidima doesn't represent South Africa because of the name. See, si, see. Si, or color. the cut of color and si, the cultural. No, see, si, if you start this. Well, you say we're white or black? Black, now. Nah. Nah, black, nah. If you start this. No, I say I'm not a black No, if you start this. Now, black, 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 black girl. Now, nah, white girl in a black, black skin. No, no, no. Now, white girl in a black skin. You not see. No, I get That's why we are getting it No, now, white girl in a black skin. No, according to her. According to her. Because if. If she's a black gay, she no go talk say she demand no get call. Uh, she is no representing the culture color. in the name. The name the is color. she demand name is not a South African name. name. So so because of that and the color she represent them. So no, let me tell you. Mia, something. Mia, Li uh, Rosewa, Mia Li Rosewa, a French name represent them more than she demand no see an African name. See South Africa. <laughs> South Africa, the liberation way Nelson Mandela tried to liberate them. <laughs> they were not liberated. Nelson Mandela only liberated some few persons in South Africa. So let me tell you, they have a problem. You know, see, the only the, one of the difficult problems is somebody get problem. But he not know. You know say get that is, he not admit saying he get problem. Are you so so how you want to solve a problem? That is what South Africa they Like what I talked about. yesterday. Messi Mandela just suffer in vain. He just suffer. He just go for twenty seven years in prison for for nothing. For nothing now. He just suffer. If to say that Mandela just quietly walk out for much, go like Zimbabwe or maybe carve in, in, in settlement, enter another country, even even pay a pass. Don't suffer for nothing. He just go waste in time for let nothing. Let me uh, let us reeducate them. According to uh, this particular newspaper, I think it was dated. There was no specific date on it. Then uh, it said how Nigeria spent 61 billion to free South Africa orders from apartheid. It said Nigeria took over leadership of the anti apartheid movement worldwide. Despite the volatile nation, uh, nature of Nigeria politics and the passage of numerous military and civil leaders, Nigeria has never abandoned its unwavering commitment to the freedom of our brothers and sisters in South Africa. From 1960 to 1995, Nigeria has alone, alone, Nigeria has alone spent over $61 billion to support the hand of apartheid, more than any other country in the world, according to South African Institute of International Affairs. According to South Africa Institute of International Affairs, it's not, in, it's not from Nigeria. In 1976, Nigeria set up the Southern Africa Relief Fund, destined to bring relief to the victims of apartheid regime in South Africa, provided educational opportunities to them, and promote general welfare. The military administration of the general Obasanjo contributed 3.7 million of the fund. Moreover, General Obasanjo made a personal donation of 3,000 US dollars while each member of his cabinet also made a personal contribution of $1,500 each. All Nigeria civil servants and public officers made a 2% donations from their monthly earnings to SAFRO. Students keep their lunch to make donations, and just in six months in June 1977, the popular contribution to the fund reached... Uh, reached uh, reached 10.5 million US dollars. The donation to the SAF arrow were widely known in Nigeria as the Mandela tax. Mandela tax. You know, whenever there is our budget, whenever there is school provision, they the always put Mandela, Mandela tax. tax. As a result of the fund work, a first group of 86 South African students arrived in Nigeria in 1976. Following the dis uh, disruption 
of the education system in South Africa. It happened after the massacre of 700 students by the white police. Why the former, the former were protesting against the decision by the apartheid regime to change the educational language to Africans. <clears throat> you know, see, from this story you read now, you will understand that. So, see, that is why I'm saying about the brainwashing. These people, from the story you understand, a, a set of police massacred 700 persons. They are white set of police massacred the blacks police. These people, you are coming back in the future to defend these people that massacred you. So that means they don't know. They don't. They don't know anything. Their history was white. Was white, white. and, and they, were, they were taught different things. Their you history. Was you know, they just the information now. Now we did take them. We did them. We did them. Not know. We, we know now that, know. We know there is a modern thing. Yes, they not know. That God does not Jesus is the type for this thing. You know, you go hardly see the set of Nelson Mandela. Them they talk. This kind of thing. Because they, they knew what happened. No, now. no. We cannot blame the Jesus when we will just let the old No, I know they blame that. The blame old ones that deliberately wiped it off. No, the old ones, eh, these people, the white people, controls the government. Although they are not even contesting election. Now then go carry you. Okay, see what you want. See what you want. You agree. If you not agree, you are go. That is why they don't want to even fund the Julius Malema's party. And that is why I that guy will not get money. I cannot, I cannot liberate a old man for what the young ones are don't doing. Know. Yeah. It's their fault. You understand? So now, you don't know, no be your fault. No be your fault. See yeah. now, no, but now few people stand like Nessim. I think there's more two to get one guy, one man when they see that. That was that. Now they suffer for this thing now, but they don't get enough numbers to eat to have okay. fire back. Fire back. Let me, let me still read this one that I missed. They said hundreds of South Africa students have benefited from the fund actively, having come to study in Nigeria for free. Yeah. South Africa students come to study in Nigeria and the for government free. sponsored you people. Even when uh, this guy, when uh, the government, when uh, Lucky Dube released a song against South African government during uh, the apartheid, uh, mm -hmm. uh, apartheid this thing, he ran to Nigeria. They, they, they secured him in Nigeria for okay. some. For some months. Then they say, beyond welcoming students and exile, Nigeria has also welcomed many renowned South Africans like Tambo um, Binka, former South Africa president from 1999 to 2008. He has spent seven years in Nigeria from 1977 to 1984 before he left to the ANC headquarters in uh, Lusaka, Zambia. For South Africa, who could not travel abroad because the, ap the apartheid regime had withdrawn their passport? Nigeria government issued more than 300 passports. Along with fellow African countries, Nigeria lobbied for the creation of the United Nations Special Committee against apartheid. Oh, this country. Oh, oh. Kai! Nigeria did so much. See, it also did. Well, they did not appreciate that. Those people so much <laughs> now. Now could they call the locals like like dogs? We will talk about it. We will face, we will face our like dogs. You know, you, know, you know this thing when we talk, this hate is eating deep into even South Africans against themselves. Do you think um a high profile artist like Bonaboy could be can kill in Nigeria? They kill a K A. We hide that one is not possible now. You understand so that means they even hated their own. Their own. So far their you own make... their own top superstar. So they, are... they are no one bring her down. So far you are making it. So far you are making in South Africa, if you make money, you see what they are doing to Nigeria. You know their men are very lazy. Yeah. So the Nigerian hard workers, so the foreign uh, company go employ person will go work for them now. Not the person with the lazy, we don't drink uh, paraga, sleep with woman for inside shanty, this thing, then come work on the sleep. They, they will not employ you now. Now those Nigerians, some they do like two jobs, they run in between two jobs, hard working. So now when they see hard working, they are women now, but they like Nigerians. As they say, they spend money for club. Now, now who get money, they spend now. So as I say, they spend money, the thing would invest there. That is why they go start this xenophobic something that will go where Nigerians they. Now that place say you come say, that hey, you don't pick that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, one thing I uh, for sure is that uh, even if you think about South Africa, I can hardly point one man from South Africa, honestly speaking. 
If a successful South African, we must be from, must have either his father or his mother is not a South African. The most richest man in South Africa is a, is a, is a white man. Elon Musk is not a South African. He's not a South African. The richest man in South Africa is a white. The second is white. White. Everybody is white. Stands. If you read their towns, uh, their houses, now white. Get Nancy this. Mandela said it. He said, the day Nigeria wakes up, eh, eh, Africa will be liberated. Nigeria still holds the power out. I say, talk, and Nigeria is the only country you come eh, as a black person. You forget your passport. You forget your passport, yeah. You forget. They don't need themselves. They don't need. As soon as you just pass that, black person. pass that airport like this, you see color. Diff the same color everywhere. You forget totally your passport. When you walk into a restaurant, any place, they don't ask you. Ooh, where are you from? Uh, the English say you speak, we don't even care. Yeah, yeah. But if you go as a Nigeria, go to another country, when you speak, they start asking, Are you from Nigeria? Oh. Are you from Nigeria? Why? Why? Why are you asking me from unique. Nigeria? Why? You are unique. People. You understand? But when you come no, up, I don't know whether you watch it. I don't know whether you care. You want to buy something. I don't know whether you watch this podcast by uh, Kenyans. When well, they talk about uh, their women, so say Kenyans now they like they, they like Nigerian men. Nigerian men. So you know, go see people they wash ham with uh, wash champagne. They use champagne. They wash champagne. So without, without, you must uh, not uh, say uh, Nigerian. Nigeria with the ladies say because they are all not fit. When the ladies say without Nigeria, no club, no club. Without Nigeria, no NSC. No NSC. <laughs> without Kenya. Nigeria, as economy not good. Yeah, yeah. You understand? Yeah. We say what is. Say, oh, they still doing in Kenya without Nigeria. So now, if you enter <laughs> South Africa, then they feel threatened. If you enter South Africa, they give you. That is why they stop the likes of uh, Dangote, Mike, and they got some investors from investing in South Africa. We go, we go out to South Africa. You understand? So they know that. So they have to block. They have to block it. And to, okay, let me tell you what in South Africa do for um, Jonathan during the, the peak of Boko Haram. Jonathan come travel, go USA. I need weapon. US come not say during Barack Obama, they don't say weapon give us. Say uh, Amnesty International don't write one report in that in Nigerian army. See then the uh, hair. So all those things. So Jonathan was frustrated because if they talk that time, you know, say this man was frustrated. This man was okay. US not really give me. Let me go to Russia. But he didn't want to offend US mm, so directly. You want to do it from back door, so they now loaded the uh, this okay, can, that, that, this, that, uh, that plane. plane, this can, uh, that uh, pastor research that for mm -hmm. plane, can put dollar inside. Going to South Africa, so that they will through South Africa they will buy arms from Russia. Uh, Russia. You understand? I remember that it's not the cash plane. The, now South Africa go leak the thing. Uh, uh, the, 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 the money they owe the, 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 the money. You understand? So that is to show you that these people, they are not even ready to even help you from, even though you want that, they don't even care. Well, I've already made a prediction the other day. I said, which I talked the year yesterday, so for about the prediction, I said, in the next coming year, eh, whether they like it. I got 100 years from now, 50 years from now, 200 years, 500 years from now. Nigeria, Nigeria will be that president in one day. No, Nigeria will be that president. Nigeria will be that president. They're not one guesses. You know, I don't want to make Nigeria bring. Nigeria. Will be your president, and before you guys will recognize it, he has already been sworn in as the president. Eh? And there is nothing you guys can do about and it. Nothing you guys can do about it. He, he, he got what in uh, Julius Malema talk. I don't look at what's in true about Nigeria. So he was trying to emphasize why Nigeria is unique. He said in South Africa or some other African countries, even Ghana, if you read somewhere, your white man they speak to them. Maybe you not hear well. You you, you want to say, sir? You understand? But if you talk to Nigeria and you not hear well, you go say, what do you mean? You understand? So you go to say, it they rude. You know they rude. You want to make you play the talk something. Maybe you don't mean. Maybe you know what you they talk. Maybe you say, what did you so mean? So that is the, that be the boldness with the Nigeria, they do their thing different. Even around the world, when they do their things different. That confidence is there. That confidence is there. Master, because, master. because as a Nigeria, you go talk, say, what you never see? Light way, you don't see road way, erosion, carry people, away, you know. So, what you never see, the worst you don't see. So, <laughs> so what did I go do you so pass, 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 as a country to do you? What well, I tell you, sir? <laughs> what do you mean? Okay, guys, uh, let's uh, just end the video so that we can move on to other topics. Thank you guys for watching, support, guys, and Slink. Catch you next time. Peace. Yeah.